welcome to Sports Folks. Another festive episode talking about sports. Yes. Well, they're, they're at it again. Show them with all that, that stuff Never there. Never fail. Never fail. Never fail. We yeah. ain't even going to discuss what was okay. going on right here. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's bring it down. <laughs> let's down. bring it bring it down. Because oh. in the last... Uh, <laughs> last Make me look at my hand. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> If you guys only knew what was said here, you'd probably be laughing too. But I got a clean profession. <laughs> now, I knew my uh, last show, I forgot to acknowledge that we lost a couple of people. Uh, very famous people in this country. Uh, John Glenn, the first man to orbit, the first American to orbit uh, the Earth. Thank you. 95 years old, and America's dad, uh, Alan Thick. Suddenly. Yeah, but what yeah. about the one more? And, you know, heart attack. He was 69 years old. Yeah, Sutton heart attack. Playing yeah. hockey. That don't mean he, he died because of playing hockey. It's just, you know, it's just, that was his time. Also, moving on from that is somebody's time is Bernard Hopkins getting back to the sports world. He got his butt whooped. Uh, it's about time for Bernard to go, to retire, because this is the way we, we last see him getting knocked out the ring on his back and then going to get up and claim that he was pushed when clearly the man got punched and he just fell out the, the ring. But he swears that he got pushed and, and, and told everybody around him that he was pushed. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, mm. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He wasn't pushed. He got knocked the out. Yeah, he got knocked out. No, because I was watching a video after he got fired. He was, <laughs> 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 I looked up and said, Really? It's like he was holding up that one glove like he was going down for the count. Like, what? Like, <laughs> it look and it's a bad it's a bad look, man. He's a he's a great Fighter, Hall of Famer, champion, and and this is how he go out. These hey, athletes. The ref made all the way out the ring. Look the at his feet, like, feet uh -uh. up there. <laughs> but I, you know, I learned something. I learned something about boxing that I didn't know that you had to the count of twenty to get back in the ring. See, I didn't know that. You get twenty. You get a twenty count. Did he and make he, it back in? Of course not. He so didn't. Back in. He he was like. Told oh. he did the. <laughs> I think told he, he did the Looney Tunes thing. He got Whoa. up. He got up, and he was just like, I don't think I want to. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I want to do that again. But keep it moving. Uh, this brother, Joe Mixon. <sighs> you see how that topic just brought it down. Just like, I don't know. The question for that I have for you, gentlemen. Uh, since this video, if you guys don't know, Joe Mixon, 2014, uh, had an encounter with a woman, and he did one of them all the way back and pow. He didn't go too far back. He just no, cold cocked. No, he didn't go back. He went. He didn't go back. He, he went straight like He went like this. He, went. he went bam, and she, she hit the the table. Her face hit the table and broke all bones in her face. But the video now comes out. All of a sudden, two years later. Now, apparently, and when he was at Oklahoma, he did lose a year. Mm -hmm. But now this video comes out. My question to you is, both of you, will he get drafted? No. In the NFL? No. But the one part but we was talking about is when they said, he said, she hit me like a dude. I'm like, really? She slapped you like a dude? Hey, some women hit hard. I joke around and say my mother hit like a freight train because she did hit like a freight train. Yeah. But the biggest thing is, at least the video shows she pushed him, and when she went to slap him, he punched her. So, yeah, my mother always say, don't throw one if you don't expect one back. Mm -hmm. That's that thing you're saying. That's that thing, you know, you shouldn't be putting your hands on anybody because you never know that guy might hit you back. That's right. I understand. No, not supposed to, uh, men, they say men not supposed to hit women. Mm -hmm. But sooner or later, you're going to have to defend yourself because if you just sit there and be a punk all the time and let them women but hit you. what was you going? Because it seemed like from the video, he chased, he basically went and followed those, the, the guy and the girl, mm -hmm. said some homophobic whatever to the guy. She 
just did her stuff or whatever, and he... He can be verbal until he turned green. Mm -hmm. Just don't put your hands on nobody. I think Mixon, um, and then for him to say that statement with the whole, uh, hey, he she hits like a dude. I mean, like, that's not good enough. And I, I feel... Look at him. He's frail. Anybody hit like a dude. No, he's, he's a... He ain't frail. He, you know, he ain't frail. That's them. He got them small shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Joe Mixon. Uh, you just cost yourself a job opportunity. Yeah, he did. Moving on to Jerry Jones. How do you feel about Mr. Jones? Uh, as he said in his usual statements, he loves stirring the pot. I told you that a long time ago. We know. I knew that. Jerry sure you knew always that. talk because it keeps the Cowboys in the paper, on the front page. Mm -hmm. You know, New York, Jet, New York Giants could be having their longest winning streak. Soon as he opens his mouth, he's going to be on the front part of that New York newspaper. Why? Simply because it's the Dallas Cowboys, he, he, and he said it. He did a the good star. Yeah, he mm -hmm. did a good job as far as feeding in and and then he on the stupid media. Oh, really? There is a quarterback controversy. Oh my God! You lose one game, one game that and didn't play well. Put Romo in and look at Jerry. Oh, yeah. Well, you that might see time. Romo. You might see Romo. Just he did. You, you got to give it to him. He, he did, he did a good job. On. Zeke the freak. He does look like a freak right there, but jumping in that kettle. Like an Ewok. I know, don't he? <laughs> <laughs> look at that. You see his little teeth there. You need them big teeth of his. He's a big dude, though, but damn. Do you think uh, that should have been a 15 yard penalty? It was a 15 it yard penalty. It was a 15 yard penalty. They just, the NFL just didn't find him. They didn't find him. Yeah, there was a penalty. But my like what the coach Garrett said. If you could do the Lambo leap jumping into the stands, how come that's not a penalty? That's right. Because yes. what's what's the this this thing that kettle thing is never there. That's just for time of the season, you know that that thing is there. But the fan jumping in the crowd, that's not a penalty. Like a black leprechaun. Yeah, don't he? It's a big black hey, leprechaun. But you know what he was doing when he was looking down there, he was looking for all the eagle haters. Mm-hmm. Real <laughs> slick. <laughs> I tell you, this thing, you see what, by him doing that and really putting more attention to the Salvation Army, Army donations went up like 250000 But you know what? T.O. did the same thing. Remember when T.O. caught the touchdown and he dropped the ball in the yeah, kettle? but he didn't get in the kettle. No, he dropped the ball in the kettle yeah. and donations well, went up. Yeah. Did he dive in the kettle? He, yeah, he jumped he in. jumped in. Jumped over, jumped, the, you know, he's yeah. a high school hurler and all that. Jumped in there and it, went down and came back, back up. up. Yeah. Boy, but they, Od and Odell with his smart so, so, It would have been me. You know it would have been fine. It, so it, it, it looked like a little. <laughs> <laughs> uh, week 16 is upon us. We got some games to get into. Hopefully, you are one of the ones in the fantasy playoffs because this is one of the this is the last week, week 16. Get your lineups ready. I know a couple of people. You won't be doing that because you out. So that's okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's okay. Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? Is he? <laughs> somebody sitting here is, is, somebody sitting here is going to be preparing for it, but the, the, the father is not. So, that's... The pupil has become the teacher. He was supposed to learn Now, I am the master. Here we go. Damn, the son done bested the father. Well, let's get into some of these games. There's a lot of playoff implications. Let's start off with the... Colts at the Raiders. 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 Colts, they need this game. Yeah, but they're not going to get it in the black hole. No? Uh-uh. Khalil Matt waiting for him. He's going to tag him. ran out. Luck He's going to tag an item. I'm going to take the Raiders in this one. You know, I'm hoping that Raiders already clinch. Uh, Dolphins, Steelers can get in. Last time, Dolphins, Raiders. Steelers, Cowboys have been in the same playoff. You know what year it was? No. You do. What, 92, 93? 1983. That's a long time ago. That is a long time that all four of these teams. Those about the catch time. All these four teams uh, from the 70s has been in the playoffs, so I hope it happens. Let's keep it moving. Bucks and the Saints. I'll give it to the Saints. Ooh, I'm ooh. taking the Saints. I think, you know. Uh, I'm going to take the Bucks. Yeah. I'm taking the Saints. I think the Saints had a – they're going to spoil the Tampa's thing and, uh, and knock them out. And knock them out. Please spoil them. 
the Giants of Green Bay. Vikings I and take, the Packers. I take the pack. I'm taking the Packers of Green Bay all the way. Yeah, all the yeah, way yeah. with the other one, bowl. All the way. Make the pit skin. <laughs> <laughs> all the way. I take the Packers all the way. <laughs> Packers all the way with the other one, bowl. Make the pit skin. I take the Packers. Yeah, so. <laughs> it was very little in victory. <laughs> I take the Packers, man. <laughs> I think I think Aaron Rodgers is going to do it. Aaron Rodgers is going to do it. He's going to do it. Back of the Green Bay, thirty-one, Minnesota, seventeen. I give up seventeen. Bengals. This is the Saturday. The Bengals. The guys, and this is a quick. I don't know if y'all know that a lot of these games are on Saturday. Yeah. So we'll you watching. turn to your TV, channel three, channel uh, sixty-one. A lot of games on Saturday. There's only two on Sunday, one on Monday. You got the, the uh, 4.30 and the uh, 8.30. 8.30 game on Christmas Day. But I'm taking the Texans. Tom Savage. going to make them foolish. Where are they playing at? It's in Houston. That's Saturday night. I take the Bengals. I'm taking Redhead. I'm taking the Texans. And I take the Red Rifle. Red the big rifle, game. Red rifle. Big game. Big game. Ravens. Steelers. Hurt me to my heart, but I'm going to pick the Raiders. I mean, the um, Ravens. Then take the Ravens. Steelers. I'm going to take the Steelers. Steelers at home. And they was coming back in that first matchup with Baltimore. So I'm going to take the Steel on that one. Now, the reason why I took this game, because I, I feel in my gut that the Browns are going to get their first victory of the season against San Diego. One in fifteen. Where are they, where are they playing at? It's in Cleveland. I got, I got beachfront property in Nevada. If you yeah. believe that, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. I you think San Diego it. gonna pull it yeah. out? I think San Diego gonna pull Cleveland, it out. Cleveland, watch. You guys gonna you gonna see the uh, Sunday night game: Denver at Kansas City. Kansas City. Kansas City. I think Kansas City because Denver has no offense whatsoever, and nope. they're fighting with each other. So I'm taking Kansas City. Now, before we get to the, the big game, the Monday night game, this guy is coming back after serving uh, a damn year, a year suspension, doing that marriage of one. That, that must be something, man, you know. But he's coming back. Jerry said he is absolutely playing, so I won't be surprised if there's the sack total goes up. But we'll see about that. Let's if. talk about this game here. Detroit at Dallas. Detroit needs that game bad. They pl- they're fighting for their the playoff life. Now, question is, which defensive videotape would the Lions emulate? Would they emulate Tampa Bay's who didn't follow the Giants and the Vikings? Or will they will the Lions file, follow the Vikes and Giants? Well, I think the thing with that is I think that the quarterback for Dallas just played better. And I'm not. I'm, the I'm not. I'm not <laughs> saying. I'm not saying that. Uh, what there's that much better and, than and, what they were. And, I mean, and remember, I sent you. To, oh, what's it? What did I say? You notice that somebody was walking around with a headset on. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna take the Cowboys just because I'm not gonna take the Lions against my boys. But it should be interesting. I'm, it, I'm, depends I'm, on which defense shows up. Yeah. But if it comes a shootout, I have no idea. If it's shootout, you notice if they, they don't, they haven't, they, they haven't gotten shootouts uh, because of how Dallas runs their no, their they program. haven't gotten shootouts because he hasn't came to town yet, and Aaron Rodgers was off his game when we went. Oh, to the game. but now it's all since he's off it. But hey, that's the way um, the game was, right? They that, lost, they they, lost they, last and watch out for David Irvin, number ninety five, and the right tackle, two, three sacks, and the right tackle for Tampa Bay was on their third string. Folks, that's all the time we have for you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> the two laughing high heaters once again, always laughing through the whole damn thing. You know what? And I'm did, did you find you. it? No. Your, your thing you was <laughs> <laughs> oh, Peace! Hey guys, happy holidays from the guys from Sports Focus. Wishing y'all the best. Be safe and be cool.